hello hello and welcome back to my channel um in today's video we are going to be doing a haul of pretty sticker co rose colored days and simply gilded so if that interests you then please stay tuned um so it's been a minute guys um well if you just want to see how i'm doing um i am doing well the twins are here um i just took some time to you know figure things out but i am back and i am trying to do you know get back on this get back in the swing of things so and um, we're gonna start these videos off with uh basically like a fall and winter haul so right now i'm showing you what i got from cookie sticker co i'm just putting it together so it's a little bit more organized because you gotta come correct when you're showing cookie sticker co because they're all fire washy so these are the 5mm sets that I got um, this fall. I forgot what it was called. I will swatch all of the washi in a different video for like more details, but I just wanted to do a quick haul of everything that I have picked up so far for the fall and winter time and my Christmas. So um, this is a set of the melanin washi that I picked up that matched the 5mm. And then this set that I'm unrolling right now is a 5mm of uh, perforated washi that was a collab between cookie sticker co and rose colored days so um i'm trying to show you guys the details and that it's like blue hollow foil that i thought would be good for um the winter and christmas time but um it's not really picking up on camera like the the blue isn't the blue hollow um isn't really picking up so i'm trying my best to show you guys the details by putting it on this little mailer but my camera just isn't doing it justice, but it is gorgeous in person. Um, okie dokie. So I'm going to put this washi away and then we're going to move on to the rose colored days items. So um, rose colored days, I mostly like to get her um, vellum sticky notes and her like her date headers. So it's like that little washi roll that I just put down. So I'm just going to show you the freebies really quick. And um, if you're new to Rose Color Days, she does typically give you like that header set right there. And then I'm going to show you like an acetate um, monthly calendar in just a second. And she typically has those calendars in um, silver hollow, rose gold or gold. And she gives it as a freebie every single like month. She'll give you the next month. In your package so um she brought these sticky notes back from last year um but i missed them last year so i definitely had to pick them up they're um, grinch inspired so i picked up all the ones that were grinch and she had different um washies but i was just here for the grinch this time around so and then i picked up this uh this uh, I, for, I forget what she called these but they're like date covers and they were perfect for Halloween but I wasn't shopping during the Halloween time because the twins basically had just came so um so I wasn't really in my planners um starting like just before Halloween and what I was trying to show you with that Friday um perforated sticker part was that she indents her um, like the date so that you have room next to it in order to put your date. But it's um, transparent background, so it kind of really doesn't matter. But just in case, like me, you write your date in with a sharpie, then um, you have room to do it. So next up is Simply Gilded. And of course, I had to pick up that winter album that she released. And I picked up a, quite a few rolls, um, mostly um Christmas and like winter inspired and this album I'm trying to show you guys like the the color of the snowflake snowflake album compared to the albums that I do have so as you can see it's kind of like a sky blue with a hint of green undertones um so the one on the left is mint and the one on the blue um right is royal blue so you kind of can see that it's not like blue or green somewhere in between but close to a sky blue um i don't know what you would call that color otherwise if you know you can leave it down in the comments but um i'm just going to put these um rows together for you guys but i am going to show you the freebies that came i really like this card it's very simple yet christmasy 
So I'm definitely going to put that up in my office. And I absolutely adored the Central Park postcard and the washi. I picked it up because um, I'm going to show you guys all of the cityscape washi that I have from Simply Gilded. But I didn't have anything quite like it in my style. So I went ahead and picked it up, especially since I have so much pink and purple washi um, to use up. And then I can use that washi for like all of the winter time. So here goes the washi that I picked up. Of course, I had to get these uh, buffalo plaids in black and red. And then I picked up this holly because I'm looking for a, um, what is it called? A olive green from Simply Yielded. But in the meantime, that holly was close enough for me. And then the roll I showed, the 5mm roll that I showed um, right before was for Halloween and I would definitely want to pick that up because it had like black in it and then that blue roll is definitely going to be good for winter time. So these are all the cityscape rolls that I have from Simply Gilded and I'm just showing you what the two that I picked up look like compared to what I have. So again I am going to update my um, washi swatch book with you guys in another video so don't worry about close-ups. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that haul. So what I'm going to do now is um, I gathered up some things like some fall items that have been around my office and like my fall supplies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch them out for Christmas stuff. So um, these little, um, what are these cards from, are from Simply Gilded and I'm just going to switch them out for um, Christmas ones wherever I can. Cause I don't think I only have just like one or two. And then this uh, sticker album is from Simply Gilded as well. And I'm going to switch it out for my Christmas one, which is this one. So let me just take it out of the packaging really quick. And then this candle, I usually, it's all like burned down, but I like to have it in my office because the throw is amazing. Plus, I like the packaging with the bronze leaves on top and then, you know, this turquoise color. So I want to keep this candle. I'll just throw it in my like used candle stash and I'm going to replace it with this um, Bath and Body Works Fresh Balsam candle. And I picked this up last year and I've been burning it um, since um, like a little bit before Thanksgiving in my office. So yeah this candle is definitely going to be used up before the um before the end of the year so i need to go pick up another one on candle day but for right now i'm gonna put this candle out and then put this one up okay so i started to use these um albums for just storing like ephemera and stuff per season and things like that. So I'm gonna put these up. And I don't store them with any like rhyme or reason. I just put them in there and it has, um, I've been keeping the postcards that I get from Simply Gilded and um, the bows. I do buy the bows, the bow stickers sometimes. And then I'll keep, um, any of the freebies I get in this little thing that I got from I think the dollar store so that's like that so this is just like the everything that I think is appropriate for fall and I'll pull this out whenever um, you know the season change and I'll try to use it up for you know put it in my planners or put it around my office or something like that so this one I actually think this can be used year-round because this is um, I think his name is Jasper and he has on like a Hufflepuff inspired scarf. So I could use this year round just because I am um, a Hufflepuff. So, but for right now, I'm going to put it in there. Um, let's see. Do I have anything else that I need to put in here before I put this one up? No, I don't think so. And if I do, I'll do it off camera. So... Okay, 
So let's put up the things that we just hauled so that I can see everything at once while I am trying to decorate my office. So that, and then I'm pretty sure I got this one. Um, I'm gonna put this one in the front. Um, this is like, this one I'm gonna put in um, this one over here actually. This one that I just picked up with the snowflakes. And I'm gonna use this one as like my winter album because this is my Christmas album. So anything more wintry, I'm gonna put in here now that I picked this up. So I'm gonna put this one, I'm just gonna put it in the pocket for now. I'm gonna put this December. Um, I de-stashed these, so I'm gonna put that to the side. This is more Christmas and reindeers, Christmas. Um, I typically use these freebies from Rose Color Day, so I'm gonna just set that aside. I'm gonna toss her card because I am well aware of her social media accounts and website. And then this, um, I'm gonna put it in my giveaway or D stash pile because I don't use those even though they are cute. And then I just pulled this uh, sticker sheet from my stash and I'm gonna put it on my desk just because I wanna keep it in front of me. Um, let's see, so go through the Christmas album. I put everything Christmas and winter in here until um, I could find an album that uh, I like for winter. So this one definitely fits the bill. Take that off. Okay, so this one, it's not giving me, it says Merry Mail. So with that on it, I'm gonna keep it in the Christmas album. This is giving me more winter vibes, not necessarily Christmas. Um, this is giving me more winter. This is a Simply Gilded's latest postcard. And they're just skating in the park, in Central Park. So I'm gonna actually put that in the winter. And then this, this is gifts. So I'm gonna actually move this one up. And then I had already bought this sticker sheet, but I got another one as a freebie because I definitely didn't order it again. So I'm gonna just stick it in there. And then I've had these for years. So what I'm gonna do is put this in the front because I wanna make sure that I start using it. And I just have the red and green bowls, some gold bowls, and then back to like the plaid. So I think I'm good there on the Christmas. So let me put this freebie up. And I just use, um, like these are just random loose stickers that I don't wanna de-stash cause I know I'm gonna use them eventually for something. So um, yeah, so I love this postcard. I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm gonna put this one on the back. So I don't have that many winter items, but it's okay, I got room to grow. So I'm gonna skip a couple of sheets and I'm gonna put the stickers back here okay so as for replacing those three fall postcards looking around my office um i definitely want to put this one out um let's see i like this owl so i'm gonna put this one and then this one is cute i'll probably put this one out for christmas and then I'll put this one out for the winter time. So, okay, that sounds good. Let me put these out really quick. Okay, so that is all that I'm gonna put out in my office for now, cause I do need to decorate. I have like a little skinny six foot tree 
in my office and I think I'm going to do a video decorating that with you guys. So, um, that's all I'm going to do for my office for now, but I am going to leave these two albums uncovered because I mean, they coincide winter with Christmas. So I'm just going to put them back on my cart. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch a few things around in my planners. So, so I had already switched over the cover in the disc on my um, planner. I need to do the same for my, um, like my schedule. So, or my catch all, but, um, I'll see. I don't know if I'll have enough time cause this video is already getting long. So, um, I might, I might hold off on switching like this little sheet, but I really want to switch it cause this has been in here since April. So, um, let's see, I want to change the sticky notes for sure. But what I want to do is make sure that December is in my planner and all of the November is taken out. So let me do that really quick. So my de December budget is in here. And then I have, um, this was my November cover for Thanksgiving, but I really, really like this and want to have more time seeing it in my planner. So this is going to be the, um, section divider for my meal planner. So that's fine. And then I have my December printables for my meal planner in here and that's fine. And then this, I kind of want to do something else. I just pop this in here just because, um, you know what? I'm going to switch it. This is where I've been keeping all of my social media once I'm done, once I'm done with the month. So I'm going to switch, switch it really quick. So that's that. And then I'm going to put this cover as the new cover for the start of my social media section. It does, it does not go with these discs, but it's okay. And then I have my December, um, social media calendar. So good there. Now what I'm going to do is go back to these sticky notes and I want to switch this up for Christmas. So let me take all of these off. Okay. So, um, let's see. So let me gather, um, all of the sticky notes that I have that can go for Christmas, starting with the sticky notes that I just hauled from rose colored days. And then I do want to include some clear, um, transparent sticky notes. So if you didn't see me haul these, it's literally like a clear sticky note. So like that, but of course it's more clear on a piece of paper, but, um, yeah. And then these sticky notes I picked up last year from rose colored days, but I'm pretty sure, um, these did well in her shop and she brought them back. So they're not exactly the same as these ones, but, um, they're similar to something to the ones she has in her shop now for this year. So let me pull out my other sticky notes. So this is how I store my sticky notes. I have a shelf above my desk. So I just use these magazine holders or whatever they're called. And I just stick my sticky notes in there. So let's see what I have. Um, so in here, I keep all of my vellum sticky notes, which is mostly, um, if not exclusively rose colored days so far. But um, Cookie Sticker Co. did come out with some Christmas um, melanin sticky notes that I think I'm going to go and pick up if they haven't sold out. So this is Halloween. These got spider webs or so Halloween, Oogie Boogie. Um, I like that, but it's not Christmas. I'm looking for specifically Christmas. So 
I don't have any more. Well, I can use this one. I could also use these still too, since it's like colorful with the rose colored days. So I'll do that. And then put that to the side. And then let's see, this is all like my target dollar spot sticky notes or paper pads that I've picked up throughout the years. So I think I only have two. Okay, yeah. So those are the only Christmassy ones. And I don't use paper pads in my planner because um, I like sticky notes, but I do like to have a paper pad out on my desk. So let's see. I'm gonna put this one in my office and then, then I'm gonna put this one in the kitchen. So I'm gonna set those to the side. Okay, so as for this sticky notes dashboard, let's see. So, oh, one more thing. Um, this is my actual sticky notes, yeah. So this is like my theme pre-planner and my sticky note storage. So I have some winter ones right here that I'm gonna keep note of for when I change this all around for the winter time. Um, hmm. I could put these back. Well, that's all the sticky notes that I have for like the paper ones that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. So I don't really see any that I want to put out to go with these vellum sticky notes. Um, but I do want to use them up so I can use these these will go um, I can put back out these it says bright ideas um, this plan on it kind of goes with them on it and then I'm gonna keep out these because these are the last of these so I'm gonna keep these out and use them because they go with the sticky notes as well um, I'm gonna put these lips back and see what else I could use this today but um, this it's a lovely day goes with that and let's see I could get some of these and then um, let's see these would have been good if I had like a red and green like traditional setup but I don't so these lips I think are the last of those I don't use these so I'm actually trash those um, so yeah these lips are the last ones so I'm gonna just stick it right here for now. I'll clean it up later. Okay, so that is it for that. And like I'm on the verge of just tossing out all of these paper ones from Target, uh, but I'm trying to use them and not be wasteful because they're just not my style. And if you know, if you picked up any um, sticky notes from Target 
at any point in time, you already know they're trash. The sticky on them just, the sticky don't sticky. So, um, yeah. Um, let's see. So let's actually go through this one too. So we can put it out at the same time. So I got plan on it right here. I'm just going to put more on there. And then all of these actually match. So they actually match this. So I'm going to keep it colorful over here. And then I'm just going to, yeah, I'm down to like two. So we'll put more over here. And then for my main one. I'm going to put the offline. I think I'm going to put the Grinch right here because I actually love these ones. I'm going to put a couple of the Grinch right here. And then you know what? I'm not going to use this gold because nothing else is gold. So... I'm going to set those to the side. Oops. So I got those. I think what I'm going to do is take off these colorful ones and I'll put them back for the winter time. But for right now, I'm going to put them up. And I'm going to put these over here. That'll be a quick switcheroo. And I'll be done with that one pretty much. Okay. So those colorful ones. I want to use these ones. All of those put it right there and then what I think I'm gonna do how are these stuck these are stuck down pretty good um I'm gonna keep those over there. And anyone wondering, I do use my white jelly roll on my vellum notes because um, it's the jelly roll tin Sakura. So I do use this one. It definitely is a thick pin, but I find that it shows up pretty well on the vellum sticky notes. So so there's that. And then these ones. These, I'm actually, these, I'm going to, I was going to see, um, put these over here and like switch them, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a couple of these, put it right there. Okay. And these ones I actually use in my meal planner. So I'm going to just put them in my pencil pouch. I don't need them on my dashboard. I'll organize that later. And then for these, since these are the last ones and these all went together, I'm going to just stick them on top of each other. And put it on here because these are getting low anyway. So... We'll just do that. So I think I'm done with this side, but I'll keep it there for now. Um, 
I liked what I was doing staggering these. For the vellum sticky notes though, I am going to have to, um, cause since I like turned the page and stuff a lot and it's this plastic, the vellum doesn't stick well to this, uh, piece of acetate, I guess it's called. Um, so I will have to get a piece of scotch tape to put on the back of these, but that's fine. Let's put bright ideas right there. And then, hmm. Let's do, move that down some. And then I need more space. So, Move that, move this. No, I kind of like that right there. I liked how that went. So we're gonna do that. Maybe move these to the tippy top and then move these down some. Oops. Put those right there and then Put these that up just a tad. That right there, and then these right there. I feel like I want some more green to balance it all out a little bit more. But it's okay for right now. that's fine okay so that is my sticky notes for um the christmas holiday season so i'm gonna just get some uh, scotch tape and stick it on the back of these so they'll stay and i'll do this to the target sticky notes too because sometimes they don't want to stick but the vellum notes don't get me wrong the vellum sticky notes do stick to paper fine it's just this plastic, it doesn't really like to stick to all that much. Um, probably in the future, I'll put something behind here so that it doesn't clash. I'll put some kind of like um, cardstock to like a solid color or a solid pattern or something, something that's not too busy. Put it behind here so um, this uh, divider isn't showing through, but for right now, I do like to see it sometimes though, to see this divider, but yes. Um, okay, so that's it for my planner. And this one, let's put a piece of scotch tape on the back of this one. Okay, so that is it for this one and what i'm gonna do is um put these i used these last year um i made these last year so just so i don't have to look at this anymore what i'm gonna do is actually switch to this and um black this so oh really quick since i have my disc down here anyway um I need you guys help to decide something really quick. So I've been working on something. Um, let me just show you guys since if you are still watching, I know this video is kind of long, but I'll show you what I've been working on. Da -da -da, sneak peek. I will do the reveal soon, but I need a cover for that planner. So I made this one and I just need help on what disc. Should I do the pink disc? I don't know, I'm kind of torn. Or should I do the gold disc with the little out of focus, uh, what's his name, Nutcracker. So I feel like the gold is nice, but I like the pink too. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments your vote, pink or gold, but. Okay, I could even do the yellow. The yellow is kind of like softer than the gold. 
let me know okay so pink yellow or gold let me know down in the comments all right so this is the setup my christmas setup for my catch-all and then this is my um planner christmas setup so I know this was a long one. I am so happy to be back and I hope you guys um, look forward to some videos for me now that I am not pregnant anymore. The twins are here. They're, they're fine. They're healthy. I'm fine. I'm healthy. I just took some time to get used to, you know, caring for two babies instead of one at the same time. And yeah, I just took a minute to adjust. So I am definitely back. Um, I am working on a video schedule. I do want to do vlogmas and I'm going to try my best to be consistent and post a video every day, but we'll see because it is busy around here. But um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and look forward to me doing vlogmas. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see what videos I'm going to put out for vlogmas and to see me set up that planner that I showed you guys. Um, and, um, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.